before I announce, let me tell you story. Story of a country, story of a city, and a story of a person who lived through this journey. We're talking about needy country. We're talking about helping. I was born in the 60s in the city of Dubai. Back then, we had no running water. Barely we had electricity, no roads, no proper health care, no university. Throughout our journey, we got help. We got help from other countries when it comes to education. They send us teachers. They send us books, actually. So when I was growing, we were learning from books from other nations. When it came to healthcare, other countries were sending doctors. It was a very small city. The country even wasn't formed. We were just a city. Then in 1971, a country was formed. And that country was called United Arab Emirates. Consists, thank you, seven small states. Nobody thought they'll survive. We live in the Middle East. Tough neighborhood. Very tough neighborhood. You have to wake up every morning evaluating your situation in that region. Today, you see the news. War, ethnic cleanses, religious war, sectarian war. But back then also we had a dream as small nation. Just was born on 2nd of December, 1971. When the country was formed, I was in the third grade. For the first time, I saw a flag. So we had a flag. Then maybe a year later, we have a national anthem. But still, we didn't have university. So they were looking to hire government official. We had only 45 university graduates. Only 45. And, by the way, five of them were only female. So really, we were a startup country, like a lot of countries today, just were trying to help. But we got help. And a short span of time, with a big dream, with help, with leadership, with really hard work, if I give you the figure from five female university graduates, today we have the highest enrollment when it comes for female from high school to university. Sixty-six percent of the government workforce are female today, higher than a lot of European and maybe United States. One-third of the cabinet are female, 50% of our National Assembly are female, from five female. The number five is very important for us. So what I'm saying here today is we are in the business, all of us really, in building people, society, but also nation. And we have a lot of failed state within our region. And failed state cost, cost us as a region, cost youth within our region tremendous. Refugees, injury, and total number of people who died. So together here, we have one journey. It's a human journey, really. I'm telling this story because for me, I lived it. My first school, when I went three, I was six years old, it was without a wall, actually. No electricity, no water, my first school. It was, the wall was made out of palm leaves. Then they move us a year later to another school. 
my elementary school. In the winter, with northern wind, the school was flooded. I lived it. And in this human journey, it's remembering that we need to stand together. Today, I am a minister. I was fortunate to be in this position. But also, we decided as a country that we need to have our calling in life. We've been helped. We decided that we are not here for any political gain or economic gain, but we are here with a purpose. So there is a calling in life, not only for individual, not only for company, but also for nation. And that's what we do. We decided that we live in a region. Youth need an example. Today, we are. Proudly, we said, we come to the city of Dubai, Abu Dhabi, beautiful city, nice building, tall, clean, tourists. But really, what we are proud of is the 200 nationality that live in the country. We have all the religion of the world. Every single color, every single ethnic group, and we never had a single racial or religious issue. And we are in the heart of the Middle East, by the way. So building nation in the right way, it can happen. We're not perfect. We have a lot of growing pain as a nation, just we are 40 years old. A couple of years ago, we were thinking, of how do you want to celebrate? How do you want to celebrate being 50 years old as a nation? Should we have just firework? We were looking at other country. We decided that we need to create hope. We decided that we'll empower youth in the country to build the first prop that will go to Mars. And bearing in mind, we want to remember that one day we didn't have road, actually. That's the aim. And proudly, it is, this is the largest project that female involved at when it comes to space. Over 30%, 30%, of the workforce or the engineer are female, almost 34% for any project that will go to Mars. And we call it hope because we want to give hope to youth in the Middle East and in the Arab world. I'm long in telling the story, but I believe that as civilization, as humanity, we live in a journey. And we should share our experience because we are trying to help people. But we've been there. I've been there. As a people, we've seen it, and that's why we are going forward. Today, I would like to make two announcements. The first, I'm happy to announce that the Emirates will be one of the hosting country of the world's largest live broadcast event in the history, will host Global Goal Live in Dubai in September 2020. Second, to eliminate poverty, we need to create jobs. We need to empower society. We need to create company for people to help their society and their family. Skill of the future are changing. We know where we're going, what sort of job that we require in the future. What do we need if you are starting a company? Today, I am announcing Global Coder, an initiative by Hamad Bar Rashid Global Initiative to teach 5 million people coding in unprivileged community. Our aim is to teach 5 million young people coding for them to create a job, again, to give them opportunity and to, their, to do their startup company. Finally, Finally, I would like to thank Global Citizen for their effort. I would like to thank all of you for giving me the opportunity to share the story of my country, of my city, of myself. And together, 
we can make things happen. Thank you very much. Thank you.